2K Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Hi everyone, we're coming to you live on 2K Sports, bringing you the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan alongside Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. DA will join us tonight on the sideline. We've got the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. Here we go. So the Bucks win the tip. Now the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Holiday out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here is Holiday from outside the arc. It's Kareem Abdul-Jabbar with the rebound. DiVincenzo against Worthy. He dishes it to Abdul-Jabbar. Over Holiday. Up again. Magic knocks it down. He shot 52% from the field in his years with the Lakers. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Back to Giannis. And Giannis brings it down hard. And when the Greek freak takes flight, I mean, he's looking to tear that rim apart. So ferocious in his throwdown. Now here's Johnson. Up top, Worthy. Outside, Scott. Pass to Johnson. Back to Scott. Five to shoot. The Lakers need to get a shot off here. Shoots the three. And Lopez pulls it down. You can't miss those, but even the best do on occasion. Inside. Now on the scoring column with that bucket. One for two this game. Lopez not to be denied. Nice strong finish there. Outside, Scott. Back to Johnson. And Johnson with the stop. Puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on you. And you know, guys, showing how dynamic a weapon he is for this offense, they feed off of that energy and ability to make plays. It gets them going. Mm, mm, mm. That is ferocious. <laughs> you said it. That was ferocious. Ammonia strong, we call that. Wear that rim out. Here's Johnson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Johnson's got six points. And here's Holiday who will bring it up for Milwaukee. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Hey, I talked to the Lakers head coach. He wants his guys to focus on jamming the perimeter shooters. He wants hard closeouts, no room to operate. He knows what this team can do if you give them any space on the outside to shoot. And they're going to be determined not to let that happen. Kevin? Thanks, David. Devising a strategy to take away that three-point shot. Here's Scott. Offensive rebound. The shot's good from Abdul-Jabbar. Well, you see the toughness and the instincts of Jabbar. I mean, always a threat for these second-chance opportunities. Outside Holiday. Johnson with the block. Scott against DiVincenzo. Here's Worthy, and the layup's good off the glass. Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. Middleton outside. Very dangerous to leave a guy like that open. Lucky break there for the deep. The feed now to Scott. And he converts the layup. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Holiday with it. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Over Johnson. Milwaukee keeping it alive. A new 14. Count that one. Really? You know what? Trying to keep Antetokounmpo off the glass, that's a tough assignment because he's long and he can leap. Now here's Johnson. He has six. Wasted no time on that shot, but it's off the mark. And here's the fast break. Giannis leading the way. Green with the rebound. Los Angeles leading by four. Goes up on the wing. Tried to bank it in, but he misses. 
And so onto Dakumba will bring it up for the Bucks. The three for DiVincenzo. The rebound by Worthy. Here's Los Angeles now on the wing. Johnson shoots over DiVincenzo, and again the Lakers no good. It's stolen by Green, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. It goes on Chris Middleton. The ultimate Iron Man. I mean, the incredible endurance. Green competes as hard as anyone at that position. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Lakers. You know, guys, we've really seen them do a lot of damage in the paint so far. Also, guys, the passing has Shoot been two. terrific in the first half. They'll be happy with all those assists. Free throw good, Green. Both free throws good from Green. Bucks trail by six. Holiday looking over the floor. On the wing, Giannis. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Magic Johnson. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Johnson is an elite talent, a special talent. A very unique point guard with amazing size. About 6'9", he can flat out take over games because he virtually can play every position. Both good from the line that time. And among NBA bigs, he is known for his ability to deliver at the free throw line. Holiday against Johnson. The shot by Holiday, no good. Oh, that's terrific defense there. That's how you protect the rim. Scott can't get it to go. Boy, the defense refusing to give up anything easy. Love seeing that kind of intensity. Johnson with the defensive effort. This is definitely a day he'd like to forget. He just hasn't had the energy or the intensity to get it done out there. He's still scoreless. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And Milwaukee has possession. Following the bucket by the Lakers. The shot by Holiday, no good. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. And, you know, when you look at Byron Scott and then add in the way he plays, really a pure shooting guard in every sense. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Shooting two. First one falls for him. Thompson. He's checked in for Green. Scott hits them both. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Middleton outside. And he can't stop the run as he misses. Los Angeles leading by 12. Here's Worthy. And that one hits back iron. 
On the wing, Holiday. Worthy defending. Scott against Middleton. And he drops it in from the low post. Boy, I like the finesse and the focus that Middleton plays with. I mean, that's part of what allows him to finish off these tough hoops. Now, here's Scott. He's got six. Down low, here's Thompson. Abdul-Jabbar trying to free himself up. The shot comes out. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational is a really good word for it. They're tearing it up on the glass. Pass to DiVincenzo. And to Takumbo. And onto Takumbo on the follow. Giannis has got it back down to a single-digit deficit for the Bucks. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. Savvy play from Holiday. Quick thinking helps him get the ball to the wide open man. That one goes in. Scott's got eight points. You know, so far he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. Middleton against Worthy. And the wide open shot from DiVincenzo. That three off the mark. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. Eight point game. And there it is for him. Ten points for him. Excellent all-around performance so far, hence the big lead. Yeah, you know, they've had the advantage at both ends. They've got all the momentum early on. Count the basket. That's 12 points for Giannis Antetokounmpo. Oh, six of eight from the field, 75%. Just scoring the ball at will. Outside worthy. Trying to get open is Thompson. The shot, no good. Good D by Lopez. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. To me, it appears he's starting to lose his composure a little bit. We'll see if he can regroup and get back into a better rhythm. And too much time three. in the lane. They get called for the three-second violation. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? And those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. And some changes here for the Lakers. Rambis is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Thompson comes in for James Worthy. And it's Cooper in for Scott. The Bucs also changing it up. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. Pat Connaughton comes in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. They have credit Holiday for getting to the line on that one. With his quickness and length, I'd like to see him do that more often. Milwaukee shooting their first free throws of the night. And the first one at the line is good. It definitely has the respect of the locker room. Holiday is someone that players enjoy playing with. All three throws good from Drew Holiday. Now here's Johnson. He's got 10. to get open is Thompson and the basket by Johnson. Johnson's got 12 in the game. His shooting has been outstanding. <laughs> Definitely one of the reasons they're up in this game. Right side out of the Kumbo and the slam dunk by Hunter to Kumbo. And Giannis out of the Kumbo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. To the paint. There's Rambis, a vintage feed from Magic Johnson. And the Lakers lead by eight. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. 
Here's Antetokounmpo. In it goes for the eighth time in 10 tries. And Antetokounmpo, the Greek freak, showing again how committed he is when he takes that ball inside off the drive. Here's Johnson. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Giannis has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. A shot by Holiday. Nobody around. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Really, uh, the right play defensively, if you can't block, force him to the line. Yeah, exactly. Prevent the layup, give him a little bump, and then maybe they'll think twice about coming into the lane next time. And if they don't think about it, at least they might be distracted by your presence. First free throw is good. Los Angeles making a switch here. Matthews is checked in. And Milwaukee also making a switch. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Antetokounmpo. Good on both. 144 and left to play in the first. Here's Cooper. No points in the game yet for him. It's Matthews on the wing. Six to shoot. Thompson outside. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. And it's Cooper missing. Bucks trail by four. Holiday, the pass to Tucker over Thompson. Portis trying to free himself. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Thompson looking for an opening. Now the pass to Matthews. Out to the right wing. Here's Cooper, and there's the whistle on the shot. Took the foul, shot misses. He'll be shooting two. And there's the foul against Milwaukee. And you know, Michael Cooper reportedly doesn't cut his fingernails. A opposing players have actually complained about leaving games with huge scratches down their arm. Two. And he makes the first. And Cooper drops both of them. There's 45 seconds left in the first quarter. Holiday, the pass to Portis. And here's Tucker. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Double team on Holiday. And Portis throws it down. Nice dime drop there from Holiday. Excellent awareness. Lakers leading by four. It's Matthews on the wing, guarded by Holiday. The shot by Thompson, no good. On offense, here are the Bucks. Outside Portis. Passes it to Holiday. Here's Connaughton. Launches a three. That shot, no good. Will return shortly. Thanks again for tuning in. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. 
and taking a look at Los Angeles' performance here, what have they been doing or not doing? You got to credit their defense, communicating, rotating, making plays on the ball. They've got them rattled. It's only the first quarter, and already they've made enough big plays on defense to last really an entire game. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for the Los Angeles Lakers. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got, they've got P.J. Tucker. He's out there with Bobby Portis. And it's Connaughton in it with the small forward. Here's Connaughton. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Holiday. Pass to Forbes. Here's Connaughton. And if you ask me what percentage of the time he's making that shot, my answer would be in the single digits. Well, you can't be forcing a shot like that. You got to keep the ball moving. Get something better. As fluent an athlete as you're going to see, Cooper moves so easily up the floor, and his skill set is well suited for transition. Now, here's Portis. Kicks it to Forbes. Pass to Connaughton. Six on the shot clock. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. Connaughton's got his first points of the night. You know, not necessarily what you're looking for, but still able to convert. Matthews passes to Rambis. That's his second shot and his second basket. He's two for two. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen now. And the pass to Tucker. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here is Forbes, headed by Green. Lakers leading by six. To the inside. Here's Thompson. No good that time. Great D that time from Portis. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Holiday's got his sixth assist on the night. Here's Cooper. Pulls it from the elbow. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got six rebounds here tonight. Connaughton passes to Portis. And Portis throws it down. Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. Here's Cooper. Matthews left side. Passes it to Cooper for the three. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. And the Lakers lead by four. Yeah, and Green provides a lot of toughness. I mean, especially on the glass where he wreaks havoc with his constant motion and activity. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. in for the Lakers. Chris Middleton's checked in for the Bucks. About three minutes played so far in the second quarter. Here is Forbes. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Portis kicks to Forbes. To the middle. And almost gets it to go, so he'll shoot two here. Yeah, hard to corral the energy that P.J. Tucker plays with. And 
He gets in there and mixes it up, and he'll go to the line. The Bucs have looked good at the line tonight. They're perfect in four attempts. Yeah, last year, collectively, only 74% from the line. That's good from Tucker. Boy, if you had the word grinder in the dictionary, P.J. Tucker might be right next to it. His energy and effort and selflessness, contagious. Catching up on the changes for Los Angeles, Abdul-Jabbar's checked in for Rambus, and it's Scott in for Cooper. The Bucks also with the sub. E. Vincenzo's checked in. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. Matthews scanning the floor. Feeds to Worthy. Shot clock at six. That one wide left. The Bucks trail. Now Middleton. Even Genzo finds Middleton. He nails it, and we're tied up. Middleton's got his second bucket of the game to go. Man, I tell you what, Middleton does a nice job using his length inside. You know, when he gets in a good spot, he's a high-percentage shooter from there. Now, here is Abdul-Jabbar. Back to Matthews. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. The Lakers have been at their finest four at the free throw line tonight. Eight attempts, eight makes. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And he sinks the second. Here is Forbes. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. He kicks to Middleton. Here is Forbes. Pass to DiVincenzo. Dishes it to Tucker. The shot misses. Here's Matthews. Lopez with the block. You could see Lopez tracking that shot the whole way. Nice awareness from him and a terrific rejection as well. And here is Los Angeles now. They've held a 12-point lead earlier. Matthews, no good. Here is Forbes, defended by Scott. Tucker, green with the block, and he gets it back. For three, Middleton, rebounded by the Lakers. Outside Matthews. Lakers passing it around. There's Kareem Abdul Jabal on the assist by Matthews. And the Lakers lead by three. And it's Milwaukee's ball. Steven Genzo with it. Pass to Middleton. Clock at six. Shoots over Worthy. Middleton can't get it to go. Lakers leading by three. Tried by Scott. Shoots over DiVincenzo. Scott can't get it to go. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. 
here is Forbes. He's covered by Matthews. And so it's Matthews with it, bringing it up now for Los Angeles. Worthy dishes to Scott. He feeds it to Abdul Jabbar. That one drops for him. Abdul Jabbar's got four points in the quarter. And boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shots now starting to fall. Middleton, the pass to Tucker. They get it back. Here's Lopez. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's going to go on Kareem Abdul Jabbar. The up fake from Lopez working to perfection. The Bucs shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Free throw good from Lopez. And guys, this is the way to stay in the game. They're, they're doing a masterful job from the line. Perfect this quarter. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Thompson comes in for Green, and it's Johnson in for Matthews. Giannis Antetokounmpo's checked in for the Bucks. Lopez hits them both. And Brooke Lopez, a little bigger and more of an offensive player than his brother Robin. But they both turned into quality big men in this league. Now here's Worthy. And there's the pass to Scott. Now Abdul Jabbar. Passes it to Thompson. Here's Worthy. And a miss there on the triple. Something that's kept this game close is the fact that the rebound stats for both teams are almost identical. The battle to a standstill on the boards has really been something to watch, and the game's not over yet. We'll see if one of these teams maintains more energy than the other going down the stretch. Here's Abdul Jabbar following the basket by Giannis. Lopez against Abdul Jabbar. Over Lopez. And too long on the shot. Middleton against Worthy. Middleton the pass to Lopez. Over Thompson. Lopez, no luck. The Lakers in the lead. Here we go, one-on-one. -on -one. Here's Scott. That's good, and Johnson with the assist. Johnson's got four assists in the game. And they've had assists now in their last three baskets. Middleton looking it over. Puts it up. Keeps it alive. And onto Dekumbo on the follow. Ante Dekumbo's got 20 points. And it's easy to see by Ante Dekumbo's performance tonight. He can flat out dominate games at times. Johnson, the pass to Thompson. Great tee that time from Giannis. And you can see the defenders afraid to kind of get in his way a lot of times when he's on his way to the basket. But on that one, they were there. Man, that was a remarkable pump fake from Antetokounmpo. I mean, he's really good at selling that shot fake. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. And, and you know, you'll take what he can give you from the free throw line. Looking at his numbers, just really not one of his strengths. Shooting in the low 60s last season. And because he struggled with his free throw shooting so much last season, I thought he was hesitant at times to be aggressive. Um, wasn't looking to draw contact and was trying to avoid getting to the foul line. Ties it up, and this next one could give them the lead. You know, what you really like about Anza Tacumpo is he wants to keep getting better. I'd say he's accomplished that and then some. And the Bucks making a change here. Holiday's checked in. And that one falls, and that puts him up by one point. And so it's the Lakers with it. And the Lakers decide to take their first time out here. You have to like what we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. And he just keeps hitting shot after shot. They need to design a way to deny him the basketball. Make someone else beat you.
Pass to Scott. Back to Johnson. Six for ten with that shot going in. That's a good game for a lot of guys. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. Outside worthy. Back to Johnson. A good finish at the rack off the slick feet. Now it's a three-point Laker lead. Fantastic ball movement. They're picking them apart with their passing. Purposeful passing it is, partner. Their last ten points have all come off assists. Love the read there from Antetokounmpo. I mean, his basketball IQ is really impressive when it comes to alley-oop attempts. Outside worthy. Back to Johnson. Abdul Jabbar trying to free himself up. Magic doing some more damage inside. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Here's what the Lakers are going with right now. Rambis is checked in for Abdul Jabbar. Thompson comes in for Worthy. And it's Cooper in for Byron Scott. The Bucks also with the sub. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Dante DiVincenzo. A foul shot good by Magic. 85% from the line in his career. Bucks trail by four. Pass to Andacumbo. 14 feet away. No good on that one. And the Lakers going the other way now. Johnson outside. It's tipped, taken away by Holiday. Here's on to Takubo, and Giannis throws it down. And the best part of that sequence wasn't Holiday's steal, but his quick decision to push the ball and start the break. That's when the D's most vulnerable, and he took advantage. Here's Cooper. Back to Johnson. To the right side. And it's Cooper missing. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. And that one's good from Connaughton. Nice awareness from the young forward. Giannis Antetokounmpo showing he wants to work it to his guys. Johnson, the pass to Rambis. Back to Johnson. Here's Thompson. The rebound by the Bucks. Lopez has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. There's the pass to Connaughton. The feed to Lopez. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Lopez has gone one of four from the field. Johnson against Middleton. Johnson down low. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And on the flip side, the defenders have to show more fight on the interior. They've got to offer more resistance here. Onto Takumbo looking it over. And onto Takumbo swims it in. Few better than Giannis completing the play. Incredible strength plus excellent agility. On the night, he's gone two for two at the stripe. Free throw is good. Now leading by one. From deep. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Milwaukee Bucks. After a fantastic quarter, he's sitting on a double-double. And there's nowhere to go but up for him. We come back right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. 
This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hi, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. It was a big time first quarter for Giannis Antetokounmpo. He had 29 points, 11 rebounds, and he might not get all the attention, but you talk about smooth scoring wins in this league, fellas. Chris Middleton right at the top of that list. Kenny, you a fan? For sure. He's got a great shooter. Doesn't need a high volume, high efficiency. He can get buckets at all three levels, inside, outside, and mid-range. Love him. You know, he's a great pairing with Giannis. With the three from the inside. Never think it hurt you from the outside. And he spells Chris, A-H-R-I-S. Kind of like that. Mm. And that'll about do it as we get ready for the second half. Let's take you down to Kevin Harlan. Shout out to my man, man, Joel. Joel, what up? Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. You look at Anadokounmpo in this one. He's been everywhere. Well, with a double-double in hand through two quarters, you can just imagine what his stat line will look like at the end of this one. Yeah, he's got that locked-in look in his eyes tonight, and he's not going to start taking it easy. I think he's going to be going hard until that final whistle blows. And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for Los Angeles. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. So the Lakers five right now. Worthy out there with Green. Then it's Kareem. And there's Byron Scott. And it's Johnson in at the point. Now here's Middleton. And it's good for two. Middleton's got six points. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. It's a great move, and he catches the defense completely off guard. Yeah, if that's a harbinger of things to come, he's looking at having a very big second half. Now, here's Adetokounmpo. Count it. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. Lakers trail by three. On the wing, Johnson, guarded by Holiday. It's good. Johnson's got 23. That's just more for Magic. And for all of his unselfish ways, if he wanted to, this guy could probably score like this on a nightly basis. Now here is Holiday. Middleton right side. Bucks passing it around. And Lopez throws it down. And those plays can make a difference in a game like this. <laughs> well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg, everybody on that bench. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Johnson following the bucket by the Bucks. Abdul Jabbar kicks it over to Worthy. Five on the clock. Pass to Johnson. Let's it go from deep. That one doesn't drop. Excellent D there from Holiday. Loads it up for Giannis. Throws down the alley oop slam. Oh, phenomenal alley oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Now here's Johnson. He's got 23 over Holiday, and he didn't get quite enough under that one. Pushing it up. Here's Yachts. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Giannis has got the lead up to seven now for the Bucks. Just off the charts, incredible athleticism from Antetokounmpo. Bending off contact like a real pro. Holiday against Johnson. Abdul Jabbar trying to free himself up. And the shot is good from Johnson. And when the size advantage is as big as it was there, I mean, that's exactly what he's supposed to do in that situation. And Holiday throws it down. And, and Holiday's nimbleness gets him to the hoop on that one. His athletic ability is off the charts. Outside green. Here's Worthy. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. 
Worthy's got his second basket of the game. Giannis outside. Here's DiVincenzo. A beautiful reverse layup. Nice pass there to set that basket up. Just over three and a half minutes through the third time quarter out, of play now. And the Lakers call time here. Started. Portis is checked in for Milwaukee. P.J. Tucker comes in for Antetokounmpo. Worthy the pass to Green. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. No good with the wing jumper. Bucks leading by seven. Here's Holiday. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. It's going to go on James Worthy. Now, a deceptive guard. Holiday draws fouls by keeping his defenders always on their heels over the course of a game. And this is his second trip to the line in the game. Shooting two. Free throw good from Drew Holiday. Matthews, he's checked in for Byron Scott. Both free throws good from Holiday. Now here's Johnson, 25 points in the game. It's Matthews on the wing. Back to Johnson, and the slam dunk by Johnson. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt, GA. And you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big time finish there. And taken away by Johnson. With the teardrop, and he lays it up and in. And now it's only a five-point Milwaukee lead. Yeah, you know, Johnson plays with such confidence and effervescence in the open floor. You never know what he's going to do, but most of the time, he makes a good decision. Holiday. And the Bucks miss again. And he's trying to shoot his way out of it. You know, they have the lead, but honestly, I, I think it might help if you be a little bit more selective tonight. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Here's Holiday after Magic Johnson's bucket, and Portis throws it down. Man, Holiday puts a lot of pressure on the defense. Often it's with his scoring, but right there, making a play for someone else. Now here's Matthews. Worthy the pass to Green. Outside Matthews. Shot clock at six. Rebounded by Tucker. Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration even for a nanosecond. Great speed and tricks on the drive. Holiday excels at putting defenses in those compromising positions. And some stats here, guys. The scoring breakdown for the Bucks. I'll tell you what, they've hit the boards hard in this one. And it's led to an abundance of second chance points. I mean, they've gotten a, a lot Take of a second chance points. Two shots. Yeah, but also, they haven't missed a beat in terms of their fast break game. That's been equally as effective all night long. No good on that one. The Lakers making a switch here. Cooper's checked in. Milwaukee also making some changes. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for Chris Middleton. And it's Bryn Forbes in for Dante DiVincenzo. And he's good on the second. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up to the Lakers. And he banks in the layup. Johnson's got 12 points here in the second half. Yeah, watching Johnson exert his will down low now, using his height and quick release quite well inside. 
And here's Tucker. Johnson against Portis. Milwaukee needs to get off a shot here. Holiday gets the bucket. Oh, a nifty finisher. You didn't think Holiday would back down inside, did you? Over to the wing. Johnson down low, guarded by Holiday. They double team Johnson. Cooper the pass to Johnson. Over Holiday. Hits the front of the rim and out. And, and they continue to control the glass. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Now, here's Tucker. This one for three. The shot by Holiday, no good. Lakers trail by six. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Here's Tucker, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. T.J. Tucker always active on the boards and doesn't give the defense a chance to box him out. This will be his third free throw shot of the game. And Los Angeles with some changes. Thompson, he's checked in for Abdul-Jabbar. Rambis comes in for Green, and it's Thompson in for James Worthy. One shot. That's good from Tucker. And here are the Lakers. They trail by nine points. To the paint, here's Thompson, and it's Thompson with the jam. When it comes to distributing the ball, nobody does it better than Magic. When one of his guys has a clean look, the ball is there quickly and on target. And Holiday throws it down. And that's a double-double for him now. 11 points and 10 assists. Just rubbing it in their faces with that dunk. <laughs> he is never going to take his foot off the pedal. And that's terribly demoralizing for a defense, guys. I mean, they know he's going to keep coming and coming and coming and that they may not have an answer for it. Shot clock at three. Rebound, Milwaukee. And up the court come the Bucks on the break. Holiday against Rambis. Holiday attacking, and Holiday throws it down. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, GA, the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. Good on that shot. With that, the Bucks' lead is cut to just nine on the basket from Thompson. Timeout called the Bucks. Scott, he's checked in for the Lakers. Chris Middleton's checked in for Milwaukee. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Brent Forbes. Cooper against DiVincenzo. Pass to Middleton. Over Scott. And the Bucks miss again. Well, you know, they're in the lead, but he's still been frustrated from an offensive standpoint. And finished off by Scott. Attacking in transition the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Holiday gets the bucket. Whatever the defense gives, that's what he takes. A sign of a skilled offensive player. Lakers trail by nine. Now Johnson, 33 points for him. Out to the wing. Here's Cooper, shoots over Tucker. It's rebounded by Portis. Portis has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one. He's been ice cold tonight. And you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used this contribution. Middleton can't get it to go. Middleton's gone just 3 of 10 shooting from the field. 
Here's Cooper. Even Genzo with the rebound. Milwaukee leading by nine. And Holiday throws it down. He's an explosive athletic guard. And I tell you, the coaching staff must love watching Holiday in the open court. Here's Cooper. Thompson passes to Rambis. Right side, Scott. Good for another basket. He's put up ten shots and made seven of them. I love the spirit he's shown tonight, particularly on the offensive end. Boy, I tell you what, the hole would be a lot deeper if he wasn't being as efficient as he's been so far. Middleton inside the three-point line. No good that time. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Here's Cooper. The dish to Thompson. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. What a valuable asset to have. I mean, Thompson can play the four, four, five, athletic enough to guard on the perimeter and strong enough to bang inside. For Los Angeles, they have shot 10 of 11 at the line. Nice work so far for them. And he knocks down the first one. And the Bucks with some changes. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. And Giannis Antetokounmpo is subbed in for P.J. Tucker. And so Thompson nails both of them. Bucks leading by seven. And Holiday kicks to Middleton. Pass to Lopez. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Just four to shoot. How about the court vision of Middleton? Just so good at finding the open man. Guys, some great passing from him. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Scott against DiVincenzo. That's it, and the Milwaukee lead is cut down now to just seven on the basket from Johnson. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Middleton the pass to DiVincenzo. Now here's Lopez. He's covered by Thompson. Johnson against Holiday. Here's Lopez. No easy options for the defense when Lopez gets in deep. He'll take his third and fourth free throw shots at the game right here. Shooting two. And the first one drops. And both free throws good for Lopez. We've got 22 seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Scott inside. Defended by DiVincenzo. Yep, it goes in, and the Milwaukee lead is cut to just seven points in the basket from Byron Scott. Holiday against Johnson. Bounce pass, Holiday. Here's onto Takumbo. Off target with the fadeaway. Giannis Antetokounmpo, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for Milwaukee. He's approaching 40 points for him in the game. He's scoring in just about every way possible. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here.
The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Bucks leading by seven. Setting the four for the Bucks. Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Dante DiVincenzo. He's out there with Holiday. And it's Middleton in at the three, the small four. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Well, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Despite the play of the team, I think he's had an outstanding game. He's really done well here. Back to Anadokounmpo. And the dunk by Giannis. Guys, it's a one-man show out there. I mean, he looks like he's willing to handle all of the offensive duties for his team. Here's Johnson. Giannis Antetokounmpo grabs the miss. Giannis has got 14, yep, 14 rebounds for him tonight. Wow. Lakers trail by nine. We're just over a minute into this final quarter of play. Cooper kicks to Thompson. Scott against Holiday. Six to shoot. Taken away by Holiday. And now the fast break. Middleton with the ball. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. Bucks leading by nine. The kick out to Holiday. And a great assist by Antetokounmpo as that one goes in. Antetokounmpo's got his third assist on the night. Timeout called the Lakers. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Some changes here for the Lakers. Abdul Jabbar's checked in for Thompson. Green comes in for Rambis. And James Worthy is subbed in for Cooper. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, during that last break, I heard the Lakers coach talk to his team. He was not happy with their play. He told them, We're getting outworked out there. Simple as that. We've got to dial up our effort. Kevin, we'll see if they have enough to get it done. Gets the three pointer to fall. It's really been a tale of two halves, guys. A slow start, but this quarter, he has really been the man. To the wing right side. Abdul Jabbar kicks it over to Worthy. The pass to Johnson. No good again that time. And physically, there's no doubt they've been the stronger team. A plus 10 rebound advantage tells you all you need to know. Well, part of their game plan was to block out the noise and just stay focused. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. At the line for your Lakers, Byron Scott. At the line for two. Two shots. The first one falls. Scott hits them both. Wow, they've made every free throw here in the second half. And that efficiency is, you know, so critical when you're looking to overcome a deficit. You've got to be close to perfect and can't waste scoring opportunities. Lakers trail by 15. Here's Johnson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Lopez has got seven rebounds in the game. Even Genzo. And it's out of bounds. The Bucks able to retain possession here. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. 
emphatic with the rejection. You've got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense. Middleton against Worthy. Time to break that ice cold streak. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. The athleticism of Middleton puts defenders in a rough spot. I mean, sometimes you just have to whack him and hope he misses the shot. Shooting two. And that one falls for Middleton. Boy, for me, it's really been fun watching the evolution of Chris Middleton. I mean, a rangy two guard who can really stuff the stat sheet. Middleton hits them both. Johnson with it. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. That one, no good. And so Giannis will bring it up for Milwaukee. Here in the fourth, they've allowed just four points. Hammers the alley-oop through. And he pulls off the Houdini to make that catch and slam it through. Stupendous alley-oop. And the crowd got their jaws dropped on that one. Total disbelief. They've shown some strength in the paint today. Their work on the boards has been impressive. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. And that assist got him a little nod from his teammate after that one. So it's the Lakers now after the basket by Milwaukee. Green breaking loose. Johnson gets the bucket. Boy, he's really been dominant in this one. Unfortunately, he hasn't had much help. Giannis Hypo working on green. And you know, at almost seven feet tall, Antetokounmpo is, is dangerous down inside, really. I mean, the defense has to be physical with him if they want to have a chance at preventing him from scoring in the paint. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Lakers trail by 20. Here's Worthy. They get it again. I uh, love the determination he showed there, getting himself into good position under the glass. With the presence of mind to know just where the rebound was going to come down. Well timed. And then the nifty touch to tip it in as well. That's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit, maybe lost concentration too. Kicks it to Worthy. Giannis against Green. Some solid defense from Antetokounmpo. Milwaukee leading by 18. The shot by Middleton, wide open. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Johnson surveying the floor. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Shooting for Los Angeles, Magic Johnson. Two shots.
That's good from Johnson. And so he hits both. Bucks leading by 19 points. Giannis outside. And it's the Lakers on the break. Johnson's got the ball. And that one, good. Johnson's got 43 points. He is just self-willing. His team right now doing everything he can to keep them alive. Giannis against Green for a three. Middleton. Byron Scott pulls it in. Scott's got six rebounds here tonight. Here's Johnson. Magic burrowing his way inside again. Yeah, he's owning them on the offensive end, but, you know, he can't do it by himself. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. And now we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Giannis Antetokounmpo. And Kevin, it's a no-brainer. He's controlled every aspect of this game, and it's just so fun to see a player perform at a level that's just higher than anyone else out on the floor. Well, to come in here facing a hostile crowd and have a game like he's had, that's what separates the good players from the great players. Lopez kicks to Holiday. Down to five on the shot clock. Milwaukee, no good that time either. Lakers trail by 15. Johnson outside. Plays it up and banks it in. Johnson's got 12 points now in the quarter. I tell you what, guys, there's not much more he can do. I mean, he's been on fire, yet they still trail in this game. Left side out of the Kumbo. Yes, and it's Holiday with the assist that time. Well, he's filling it up right now, getting the shots he wants and delivering in a big way. Johnson, the pass to Scott. And then Johnson with the dunk. That should give him a nice little jolt. Ah, uh, yeah, it has to. They need a jolt here. And, you know, that's exactly what happens when you don't settle. That's the result. Tremendous effort and a big-time finish there. The D just kind of stepping aside and letting him get to the rim. There's a reason, G.A., the lead is what it is right now. You know, you look at it, the communication is lacking, as is the trust. They can ill afford those types of breakdowns. It won't work. You can't win with those kind of breakdowns. Worthy against Lopez. And it's sent back by Lopez. Middleton outside. Passes to DiVincenzo. The Bucks working the ball around. And Adetokounmpo gets it to go. Boy, the added work in the weight room for Giannis coming into play there. I mean, you got to send an army to try to stop this guy. Scott against DiVincenzo. Scott the pass to Johnson. Banked in off the glass. Johnson's got 51. An extremely efficient and productive game for him. But again, he's not going to be able to do it all by himself. On the wing, Giannis. Fades. Yep, that one goes in there. Andre DeCumbo's got 13 points now in the quarter. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Worthy drawing the double team. Basket counts. Really nice job moving the ball around that time, picking apart that defense. 
outside Holiday. Here's DiVincenzo. It's good, the assist that time from Holiday. And the Bucks lead by 17. He wasn't able to get his name in the score sheet in the first half, but he looks like he's starting to find his comfort zone here. Back to Johnson. He kicks it to Green. Some solid defense from Honda Kumbo. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Now here's Young. And really, Antetokounmpo never stops attacking. I mean, he's always in attack mode. He really forces the defense's hand. He keeps pressure on them at all times. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Free throw good, Giannis. And good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Johnson who brings the ball up for the Lakers. Los Angeles calls timeout. Drawing the double team. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. Holiday against Johnson. Holiday, the pass to Lopez. Feeds it to Antetokounmpo. And the rejection by Abdul Jabbar. And the massive wingspan of Abdul Jabbar. Impressive. Kareem easily swatting away shots. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Free throw drops for Worthy. One of the most feared, versatile scorers at that forward position. Big game James always seems to make the most out of any situation. Now here is Holiday. It's Andre Kumbo on the wing. The shot off that time. Great D that time from Green. Worthy drawing the double team. And Green slams it in. And a long wind-up and strong follow-through on the one-hand jam. Yeah, he's not going to mess that one up. I certainly hope not. Now, here is Holiday. Pass to Giannis. Kicks it down to Middleton. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Fires from deep. Green with the rebound. Green's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Johnson in the corner. Lakers passing it around. Abdul Jabbar. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And you're talking about one of the most decorated superstars in the history of college basketball. But maybe the most impressive feat, he won three national championships, and Kareem has a way of affecting winning. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Oh. 
and he makes both free throws. 103 left in the fourth quarter. Giannis against Green. Here's Antetokounmpo, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Yeah, the defender all over him. He got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. At the line for the box, Giannis Antetokounmpo. At the line for two. Shooting two. And that one misses. He hits the second from the line. 53 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The pass to Johnson. Over Holiday. No good on the shot. And Milwaukee the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was 21. Even Shenzo gets the bucket. And they came in determined to take this one. It's going to be a happy flight home. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exits. And it's Green missing. And so Giannis will bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. The lead is 15. Johnson against Holiday. So it's the Bucks taking care of business in this one. And in the win, a comfortable win in what was, I think, gee, a pretty hostile environment. It, it really was. You, you know, it's never going to be easy on the road, but they didn't have too many problems with that tonight. Well, folks, that's going to do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Alders, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.